I was playing up at Jackson and Willow by Orange Barn Lounge. And uh, so Willie Russell, he passed over by my job right there, which was one block away from his from his lounge. And he said, say, man, say, uh, they tell me that you got a good band and you play as good. Won't you come and play for me? I said, oh, no, man. I said, I can't play good enough for that. He said, oh, yeah. I said, they didn't tell how good you could play. Come on over and play, sir. I starting this weekend, I get his job if you come play for him. I said, okay, I'll give it a try. So I guess in there that Friday night, sets up and started playing and everything. So all at once, I hit a kaboom. And I look around, a man and come in the door there and got the stool and busted the man's head. Blood was everywhere, all over the floor and everywhere. And I said, good gracious life. Then the next night I played, then Eddie guy comes in there and uh, shoots the guy. Blood everywhere, called the ambulance, pick him up and everything. So they had the record machine right in the corner there. And by me being small and short, I would run behind the record player to survive to take cover. Blood all over the floor. And so the next night, that Sunday night that I played there, then the lady was uh, sitting to the bar drinking, and another lady running in the door and come there with a razor and cut her intestine out, then started stabbing her all up. She fell on the floor and blood all over the floor. And I said, good gracious life, what kind of place is this? So I called Willie Roos and I said, hey, man, I said, why did you name this place the Biz of B? I said, you named it the wrong name. He said, why you say that? I said, I'm going to give it the right name, the Bucket of Blood, because ain't nothing but blood here, because ever since I've been playing here, somebody shot, stabbed, or cut down here at Bottom and Bedita at the Bucket of Blood. <laughs>